Uh, Mike, another away game where we started poorly, made mistakes, didn't do enough going forward. What do you make of it? Yeah, obviously it's difficult when you start and concede a goal in the nature we did. Um, I thought that watching both teams, I think it was is evident and from both sides where they are in their journey as a club and um, they deserve credit. They deserve a lot of credit. The obviously manager's been there for a couple of years now and what he's built um, is very, very difficult to play against. And Obviously, you could feel that, and the intensity they played at with the the arousal, and they've got some very, very strong and good players with that can hurt us, and they did that. So, you know, I'm not. There's, it's not about um, being being too defeatist, but they were stronger certainly tonight, um, and we've got to look at areas where we use that as a marker for ourselves um, but yeah I thought we let ourselves down a little bit when we lack quality when we give simple passes away which uh, was disappointing but overall yeah it was a difficult evening because they're, they're where they should be in the league Started poorly in both halves as well again is that something that starts to concern you? I mean yeah look there's, there's many things that, that we're facing and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say concern but no we've got to we've got to improve on many areas of the game and obviously we need to be more threatening I thought we did have willing runners forward but we we couldn't affect their back line uh, when we did get through and in the last 15 20 minutes we had a bit more control on it but we really struggled to uh, affect their goal but then on the flip side in the transition how fast and how quickly they they broke and the the chances that they got you know, it was, uh, it was evident. So, yeah, look, there's many things that we're working on and improving and off the back of a positive performance at the weekend, yeah, it is disappointing, but I think, you know, we've got to understand it. You obviously want us to be hard to beat, but with where we are on the table, do you start to maybe think about playing, you know, making the game ugly and trying to get a point out of games like these? Um, we obviously want to get a point out of this, but it's not about making it look ugly it's about making sure we stick to our principles and we do it right um, obviously when we have games where we've controlled it and we move the ball and we've got the detail um, we're very very hard to play against that doesn't take away our out of possession stuff our in possession stuff doesn't reflect our out of possession stuff we need to be ugly and hard to beat and difficult and I thought we did that Saturday um, and I thought they just overpowered us tonight their third goal probably sums up our look at the moment. Is that just something that goes against you when you, you know, lacking confidence? Yeah, I think the uh, when you're on the front foot and you're as confident as they are, um, they're obviously going to pick up the ricochets and second balls. But it's not luck. It's it's um, confidence. It's momentum. It's uh, anticipating things rather than reacting to things. Um, and we've got to make sure that we just focus on everything that we can control and we've got to get to the position where we're going out on into into games we're coming out first half second half with a feeling that they had um of ultimate confidence that they're just going to be relentless in everything they do and even if something does go against them it's not going to set them back that's not where we're at at the minute but we are going to get there you did get the goal back at the end but maybe a case of coming alive once the game had gone a bit again yeah and i think for me it just shows the the character obviously I don't see a group of lads that don't want to run for each other, that don't want to fight for each other. I just see a group of lads that um, are giving everything and fighting and keep coming up short and that does knock us and that's understandable. But we've got to control the controllables and how we recover and how we dust ourselves down and then we've got to get ready for a big game at home on Saturday. Aaron back into the team, a positive. Did he come off at half-time just a case of managing his minutes or was there an issue? Yeah, no, it was a case of not not um, overloading him because he hasn't had much training. So, yeah, really positive sign that he's back. He's, he's a great leader and brings quality. Um, but, yeah, no, we had a few changes planned because uh, of trying to, look after, trying to look after the lads. Started with Cammy on the right of defence. What was the thinking behind that one as well? Um, we wanted to be hard to beat. We wanted to, we know they carry such a physical threat um, and uh, a real energy. So obviously we had we had a, a disciplined, physically strong team in terms of the back five, 
obviously you can't legislate for giving a goal away in the nature we did but I'll, up until half time do you know what I mean we we didn't penetrate their back line and we didn't affect their goal um, and it was transition where they got through us but in the hole I thought set pieces and when we got behind the ball we defended well um, we've just got to yeah, make sure that we're alive in open play and we're, we're staying with our men and we're, we're covering the ground and we're not switching off. Sam had to come off with a nasty looking head injury, how's he? Uh, yeah, he's again, he's, he's, a, he's a warrior like many, but um, yeah, he's broke his nose, so I think he's going to have to go to a &E to get that sorted. Chaz missing as well, was he just ill? Yes, he was just ill. And what do you now look to do with the lads ahead of a, a really important game against Cheltenham on Saturday? Look to come in tomorrow and to debrief and watch it back and speak to them individually or in departments, make sure they get a good recovery and have a good day off and then come in and we're looking forward to, again, another reaction.